Hey there guys, today I want to show you guys the performance difference between running the Ryzen 5 5500U at 15 watts, which is its stock setting, and 25 watts using the AMD APU tuning utility. So to show you the differences, I'm going to be using Cinebench and I'm going to be using the Division 2. And keep in mind that raising the TDP on your laptop is not necessarily guaranteed to work. Some laptops have very, very poor cooling where this is only going to make the performance worse. But first of all, let me show you how you you actually raise the TDP. So you launch the utility tool in administrator mode. Then you just go down here to the pre-made presets and you go down to the Ryzen 5000 series U. And of course you pit pick the 5500U or whatever APU is respective to the one you have and then just hit apply setting and you should get the indicator there letting you know that it works. One thing to note though is go to settings and click the auto reapply. Now what this does is it just will reapply the settings anytime anything happens with the driver. There is something that ends up happening where sometimes when you close the game it will actually just reset the uh, the TDP. Now taking a look at Cinebench at the default 15 watts we actually ended up getting a score of 5000 an 884 and the max temperature that it actually reached was 91c now at the 25 watt tdp our score actually increased to 64 67 and our max temperature was actually 87 now you might you might be wondering well why was the max temperature lower the reason for that is that at the stock 15 watts it actually allows itself to boost for a temporary amount of time up to 30 watts so in that situation it boosted up it got all the way to 91 and then it just started to bring things back from there so so that's why it actually reached a higher temperature than at the 25 watts because that was literally the maximum that the chip was allowed to go to and obviously that boost to 30 did not really do much because after a while it drops down to 15 watts and it really brings down the sustained performance here now keep in mind the stock 15 watts is still pretty decent performance that is still a higher score than what you would get off of the i5 1135g7 or the i7 1165g7 and of course all of their refresh directly derivatives that really have only done small clock speed increases that will not close the gap with this but it just gets a very very comfortable lead once you really unlock the power at the 25 watts tdp setting this is essentially going to improve your experience while doing work but as you can see it isn't some kind of doubling of performance or anything like that but we can jump into a game to see what the difference really is like so at 15 watts you can see that the performance while in terms of averages looks pretty decent it's those ones percent lows that really start to struggle and you'll see that as the benchmark goes on the performance really starts to take a nosedive and there are intense stutters throughout the experience i'm just going to let it play out from here So you could really see how rough of an experience that was. It just was not going to be an enjoyable experience. But if we bump up the TDP to 25 watts, things change dramatically. You'll see now that for the most part, what really gets fixed the most is the 1% lows. The constant stutter that becomes very apparent in the 15 watt configuration just pretty much disappears. For sure, it's not going to be the greatest experience. We are still RAM limited, of course, but the TDP really helps to level out the situation. And this really is the difference between having a completely unplayable experience and one that is pretty playable. And really all this does is emphasize just how important it is to raise 
utilize the TDP on your 5500U to really squeeze out as much performance as possible. Because if you leave things at stock, you are leaving a lot of performance on the table. And as you saw, it's really easy to do this. It's really easy to raise the TDP and you can see the temperatures don't even really change to the point where they are at dangerous levels. Of course, this really depends on the model of laptop that you have. So it's very important that you pay attention to what kind of cooling it has. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe and of course, join the discord down below. I'm trying to raise up enough money to potentially be able to get an RDNA 2 laptop guys. So I'm setting up a donation button down below on PayPal. If you feel so inclined as to donate, it would really help me get an RDNA 2 laptop in here as soon as possible. But anyways, I will see you guys next time.